all right seems that we are ready to launch our first campaign so we found people we have these owners of marketing agencies that we found using linkedin data the linkedin source then we want to um, find their emails and then we can sync them to smartly because we set up our smartly integration and then in the next video i'll also show you how we can um, um, get hubspot into the mix for now we want to find the email of these people. So what we'll do, the, um, we can set up a lot of different APIs to make finding emails cheaper. And I will show you that in a, in a, in a later video, how we do that. But uh, for now, we just use, you know, the Prospeo integration right here. Again, it's costing you credits and it's not the most cost efficient way of going about it. But I want to show you how, you know, Imagine you just want to use clay, how you can go about doing this. We have these people right here. We have their full name and we have the company domain. That is enough to find their email. And then there are different run settings you can set up. So you could, for example, say only continue if their job title contains founder or that type of thing. We already know it does because that's what we searched for. Or you can say only continue if, and then imagine you already enriched the companies. Um, there's certain criteria you can add in there for now. There's no real need for us to have a conditional form line here. So we can leave this empty. Then once you know the setup is correct, you can go to save. You can run all of them already. You cannot run them. Or in our case, we're going to run the first 10 rows. Then it will give us the emails. If you click into here, you can see the actual, you know, data that got returned from from the uh, from the API. So we'll add this as a column, which is email. And um, these are all the valid ones. And the reason why we know they're all valid is because we um, did not turn on include catch all. So all the emails that we got in here, they're all valid. We can add another validation. Let's just do that really quick where we use debounce, which is what um, which is, you know, another native one from Clay. We'll use the Clay credits because why not? And then in here, we'll hit forward slash and then email, and then we'll select the email column. So in here, you can select, you know, any column that you want just by hitting a forward slash and you can then reference the column. And then if you're in some case, not a cert, like 100% certain about what you want to add, you can also preview the data and you can go and click into most of these. And then even without adding the column, which was a step we just took, you can then select you know, the data point that you're looking for. So in this case, that will be email, but in our case, let's just select this one. Then we wanna make sure that we only get safe to send emails. Um, this, you know, we can exclude it, not really relevant because we know we just had a look for, um, uh, for work emails. Then let's just add a quick conditional formula um, where we can say only run if slash email is not empty. So this is the, you know, this is JavaScript. You can um, um, say, okay, only, um, let's see, you, you can do it this way, but um, you would have to remember all these different formulas and all that. The AI pretty much never fails. So we just let it generate the formulas for us. And it automatically references the column that we said in here, it needed to check to see if it's empty. And it will see, okay, is this column empty? Um, if it's not empty, it will run and validate it. If it's empty, it will um, not run. That's pretty much it. Then continue to add fields and we want the valid email. We'll save that and we'll run the first 10 rows. Then here we have the, um, uh, the valid emails. So we know these are actually valid emails. So those are the ones that you want to be using. And those are the ones that you want to sync to smart lead. Then um, you can hit enrichment here. Just select smart lead. Then 
uh, add lead to campaign right here, then you can select the campaigns from here. You go into here, you select the campaign that you want to synchronize it to. And then we need to fill out these columns, at least the email column, because we obviously want to reach out to these people by email, we'll select the email, valid email ones, then uh, first name, and then last name. And you can add as much data or as little information to here as you want. But obviously we want the email and pretty much always the first name because we want to um, at least address them by their first name. And for now, we won't be syncing any other data and I won't be going into custom fields either. Then you have the option um, to duplicate leads across campaigns. In most cases, you want that to be off. But if you run an agency, for example, then you want to turn that on because otherwise, um, you know, you, it could be that you want to reach out to the same lead for multiple clients, for example. Then here, we want to add another conditional formula. We'll hit use AI again, and we'll say only run if slash valid emails is not empty. And, and I like to capitalize the end, but it's not necessary. Um, if, and then first name is not empty. There we go. So because like you pretty much want to introduce the values in here that you know you'll be using as as you know as variables just to make sure that you don't end up with like really awkward empty you know like saying hey and then where it should say first name doesn't say anything then if this is the basic version um tell me required input missing which is the campaign so for now we'll hit close and save um, so that's the basic version of doing it, but you can also like in some cases there, you have multiple campaigns in here, um, or you just want to do a sanity check, or there's so much going on that you want to make sure that, you know, you're hundred percent only syncing the right leads. So then you can also use a formula and you could say, um, if valid email is not empty and first name is not empty output true otherwise output false for example um so then that's one way i sort of sanity check myself and then we can call this um campaign one check for example and then we could say okay only if campaign one equals true then actually sync to smart lead or um, we can then do the same thing for multiple campaigns so that maybe one campaign is going out to all the founders the other campaign is going out to the vp of sales then we could say only output true if job title contains vp sales output false if founder and that way you can have you can sync to multiple campaigns from one table, which is pretty neat. So you don't have to set up a new table for all your campaigns. You can basically have a really big list of contacts that are all a good fit. And then you can have multiple columns where you're syncing to smartly. So this can be campaign number one to founders, campaign number two to VP of sales. And one way I like to make sure that, you know, no bad leads slip through the cracks is by having uh, by using a formula here to output true or false if it can be synced to a specific campaign and then here um you know you're you're making your life a little bit easier so that's how i go about that but either way um we're ready to go so we can run all these columns then that will automatically run all of these as well um and then once we have the emails it will sync it to smartly so imagine we already run this and let me just select the campaign really quick. There we go. So that's thinking. So we're running this, as you can see, it was only run the first 10 rows right now. And then uh, the moment we run this, it will not sync to smart lead until this is also populated so until the email is validated so you can click this without any issues so you will run that that will automatically start running this as well um well it won't because we have uh, well there you go 
they will automatically start running this as well. And then once this starts populating, then it will automatically start running this as well. So once you know, okay, I've set the first 10 rows, everything's looking good. Let's start syncing it. Great. Then, you know, you don't have to do any additional work, but also um, the other way around, you don't want to run all of this unless you're sure everything here looks good. Um, so you want to make sure that you do the setup correctly before you start running everything pretty much. But either way, it's all syncing to smart lead. So that's good. That's exciting. And um, yeah, that means that we're ready to move on to the next module.